Good evening. It is just about midnight. Just winding down. Uh, it's been a, a long week. It's been an amazing week. And I want to send a special thank you for the opportunity to connect with you ladies. I hosted a breath and sound bath event a private event uh, it was about 10 ladies and it was amazing it was beautiful um, perfect opportunity to connect build community to release what no longer serves us and to really just tap into um, letting go healing being our authentic selves and uh, really acknowledging uh, and, and being aware of our power our strength and um, being okay to let go and reminding ourselves that when we hold on to things too tightly we can't begin to grow develop and bloom into the things that are meant for us uh, and a lot of times when we hold on to what's no longer for us we hurt ourselves we, we really do and we don't we don't realize it um, and we don't realize um, when we're holding on to something, we're not allowing space uh, to receive what is for us and what's meant for us. I found this beautiful abalone shell at um, the beach that I went to. It will be nameless. <laughs> but it's such a beautiful shell. I put up that video earlier with a prayer and... Um, it was an amazing week. Again, very blessed, honored, and thankful to be here. Thank God. Um, another great week of just growing, developing, and blooming. Um, and blessed to uh, reconnect with some friends um, that I consider family this last weekend. Yasi, Selena, Crystal, um, Rito, Scarlett, Maddie, family. Um... Yeah, just really um, a phenomenal weekend. And again, um, the breath and, and sound bath private event was, was phenomenal. And I look forward um, to uh, continuing uh, more healing, more events, uh, and possibly some half day and maybe a, an overnight retreat. Um, you know, thinking about ideas, Joshua Tree, Sedona, um, maybe... You know, even somewhere in the mountains was a suggestion. You know, I don't know if that's Big Bear or where that is, but we we going to make it. We're going to do it. Um, another area that I would love to go into, and I want to tap in with one of my friends, Destiny. Um, she actually lives out in the Ojai area, and um, I forget the name of the other beach area she was talking about, but that would be a perfect area as well to do uh, a retreat uh, overnight. Um, or half day retreat but more to come uh, so Cal looking at maybe uh, late late April so quickly quickly popping back into what I do here every Sunday what I've been doing um, is just recapping the week again beautiful week amazing things a lot of spiritual growth for me just beginning to develop and bloom in what God has for me and just being focused um, being dedicated to um, my AM routine the PM routine and things that I, I promised God I would do and uh, being obedient to what he's um, letting me know um, and, and the direction that I'm going in so a uh, beautiful thing to be able to hear his voice and to get his guidance um, every day um, and just being intentional about my prayer life, my relationship with God, and, um, you know, being on track to do the things that, um, I was created to do. And, um, one of the things I want to say that it was a learning for me is that sometimes, you know, there's distractions that we hold on to and, and I'm, I'm, you know, I've, I've, I've got different distractions, you know, um, you know, whether it's social media scrolling, um, you know, different discussions that might not be um, at the level of discussion that 
I should be engaged with. Um, uh, even, you know, drinking alcohol. I don't really drink alcohol as it is, but just anything. That, that's a distraction. And um, right now in this season, I have no room for distractions. And, um, and I realized that God told me. He showed me. He knew that I was going to do what I was going to do because he knows far well above and beyond, you know, what we're going to do, what we're going to engage in. And he knows we're going to do it. He doesn't give us more than we can handle, but we have our own free will. And um, I realized in the moment that, you know what, this is not for me. This is a distraction for me and the plan and the progression and the growth that I'm, you know, uh, working towards and, and the purpose and the things that I'm trying to do. Um, really excited about um, this next coming week. I've got some, some training opportunities to begin to continue to grow and develop. Also tapping into... Um, uh, a meeting that I have set up this um, Tuesday morning. Super excited about that. Excited for that to bloom and develop. And definitely um, keep your girl in your prayers for these next things that are going to bloom um, in my life that will impact um, other people um, and maybe even you that's watching this. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm uh, really excited about it and um, I'm, I'm encouraged and I'm confident in it so um another great week focus for me this week again is just keeping uh, obedient uh keeping away from my distractions and resting um giving myself grace i give myself grace um a couple times this week that you always have to um, god gives us that grace freely as well um, and sometimes you know what we really gotta listen to our bodies and we need to rest. Sometimes, you know, um, I know for me, I just keep trying to push, 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 push and, and do different things. But sometimes we just have to um, let that go and, and honor how our body is feeling at that moment. Sometimes we just need that rest. I needed that rest last night and I just knocked out um, and it was needed and, 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 and the day was still beautiful. And here I am sharing this amazing week with you guys again just a week of being obedient um, blooming and developing growing making new connections reconnecting um and um i i'm, I'm just looking forward to what's next in the future i know there's going to be great things that happen and, and continue to develop and bloom i heard that um i heard that you know maybe maybe there will be some um traveling and healing, you know, across, you know, the globe, you know, let's take this worldwide. Um, that's where it's going to go, you know, I mean, that's, that's the dream, that's the vision. Um, and um, I'm excited to take it there. So that was my recap for this week. Again, ladies um, at the private breath and sound bath event in Hollywood <laughs> um, so much gratitude to be able to heal with you to connect with you um, I love the conscientiousness of the entire group and how um, I just felt such a good energy um, thank you for you know being open to be vulnerable to be able to let go to receive and it is to really honor yourselves and, and, and be there for each other. Um, you know, I, I wish I could have stayed a little bit longer, but I had to go. And I can't wait for the next time. Um, thank you um, to Patty and Lisa for following me. Um, I don't know who else is there, but I want to follow you guys as well. I know that we're, we're connected through Yassi, so um, I look forward to seeing you guys again. And let's save the date, end of April, sometime there. I will see you all again. Can't wait. Peace.